When are you when are y'all leaving? Absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely. The first thing um, that I believe, and the chief talked about this a little bit, but I don't think so what he said is true. He did state that um, there are good relationships in these communities and the precincts. And I don't think that's true because all of my residents that I've talked to are saying that there has been an ongoing problem with these relations. Now I've been to communities already where police officers have great relationships with the residents. Uh, National Night Out was a great example where I was walking down the streets with police officers and there was absolutely no problem. The residents were completely accepting. I also do ride-alongs with police officers and I see when police officers engage with certain kids, you can tell when there's a relationship. Obviously, there is not an ongoing program to have close relationships with young people in this community. And there's a huge number of young people in this community. And I'm not just talking about teenagers, I'm talking about anywhere from 6 years old to 25 years old. Since, Senator Chappelle and Adele, uh, as a representative of this area, this is actually your area you represent, unlike some other people. Uh, uh, Dr. Art McCoy, Ferguson Florida School District, all white school board, vast majority African American school district. Uh, how do you relate the situation in the Ferguson Florida schools and the surrounding Normandy Review uh, districts with what's going on in the streets today? Well, you're the only person who's ever, ever even asked me that question. And I have to say that education, the quality of school districts, has everything to do with what has happened in this community in the last week. And what I'm finding is, is when you have students who are not getting all of the educational needs addressed and you have these kind of circumstances that arise, they don't know how to respond. So they're not thinking, um, what is the process that we need to go through to receive justice? What they are thinking to themselves is, I'm angry and I want to do the same thing. I want to yell at a police officer. I want to fight a police officer. On Sunday, I literally had young people who were willing to die. That's right. To get justice. Now, now, also right down the street, you have the historic, the first black town in the state of Missouri, the city of Kenlock. And as people know, a big percentage of the renters and public housing tenants from Kenlock, when they closed the Kenlock public housing in the Boaz, went to Canfield Green, went yes. to the area of Ferguson. Yes. And do you think the displacement of that community is related to this as well? Yes, there's because of poverty, um, there are a lot of African American families that have been displaced and their needs, their social and economic needs have never been met. And so this is just, this is Pruitt Igo all over again. Um, and we know that if, when you have a concentration of people who are undereducated and in high poverty, um, you have these circumstances. And having a police force that does not look like the community and having a police force that is not engaged in every single precinct, it's, going, it's a disadvantage to the entire community. And that's why all of these isolated events, all of a sudden when you have Mike Brown happen, it's everyone is reliving their personal experience. And so people are angry and they're mad. And what I'm trying to do is to redirect that negative energy into positive energy. And so that we have an action strategy so that we can get justice again. Senator, what do you think is going to happen?